I don't know if it's just my TikTok algorithm <laughs> feeding me the idea that it's fun, but it really is. Um, I, as I'm the type of person that I, when I see numbers or metrics, I get motivated. So seeing that there's a biomedical of PR and stuff like that, so that excites me. Really enjoy it. It's always been my advocacy, like ever since the uh, It's been my core value to really tell people that it doesn't. It's not limited to size. It's also just really the idea of self love, all in all. No matter what size you are, no matter where you are in your fitness journey, so long as you feel confident in what you do and that you give love and give your body the strength it needs to go through out your day, that's for me, that's body possible. I think there's this notion that when you advocate for body positivity, you have to be big, but it's not. Again, going back to what I said earlier, it's, it encompasses self-love. Like Self-love could come in many shapes, forms, and mediums. So you could be the lightest you are, but in your experience, you've experienced um, being heavier. And still, you struggle with the same insecurities. You struggle with the same hurdles with your confidence. So it's really just you letting people know that no matter what size you are, no matter how self-love, it could be working out, it could be having control of your food, it could be finally wearing your sleeveless tops, you know, it comes in many forms. So it's you, it's me telling people that however you want to start it, whatever trigger that is, that's a good starting point because that's going to push you towards a deeper level of self-love and a deeper level of uh, understanding of what your body needs and giving it the love it needs. I think um, working out, I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but now I feel like it's a bit more normalized, it's more accepted. It's not so cool. I mean, you don't know what I mean, but it's not so far-fetched anymore. Na people really have have it a part of their routine. So um, to me, how the fitness journey started and how it contributed to my um, uh, to the body positivity advocacy is that it really gave me a new sense of achievement or fulfillment. It, it um, gave me another medium or another format of self love. So sometimes to me, going to the gym is showing up. Uh, for my tasks at hand. So I have to be here at the gym in the morning so that I have clarity when I sweat it out and I have endorphins so that I sweat out my anxiety away, I sweat out my stress away, you know what I mean? So by that to me that that contributed to me having a productive day and just me really having a better and healthier mental state, I guess, for the rest of the day. And then it kind of snowballs throughout the rest of the week. with a lot of gyms before, like the bigger commercial gyms. Mga three instances yun. All of those instances, I was really turned off because ang lading sinasabi sa kanang trainers there was that, Ma'am, gaganda ako pag pumayat ka. <laughs> and like, in my head, maganda na ako. But ako, yeah. what was to be on? No, it's just, I hated the fact that people would imply that for you to be beautiful or for you to be pretty is that you have to lose weight. I mean, maybe it could be a motivation to some people, I get that. But to tell someone that you have to physically change yourself, to be beautiful and to be strong, it really turned me off. And to be honest, I was low-key traumatized. So it, it took so long for me to be open again with the idea of going to the gym. The, only, the first trigger for me to go here was because two of my friends were here also. And they were talking about it. Not, they were raving about kinetics, talaga. and I was like, talaga, and I trust my friends' judgment, diba? Like that's that's the best form of testimonial you can get when you have friends who, you know, advocate for a space like this. So um, there was one time we were catching up somewhere here in the town, and then it's so ka. So I went here. I was like, whoa, it's, it, the vibe is different. Nah, I don't know if it's just me, but it's like cozy and very. I don't. Para exclusive, kasi it has the stigma, but. The lack of a better term, it seems ex exclusive, but like other gyms, they're very intimidating, very, ah, I don't know. So when I go,
got here and I, Coach Claire uh, toured me around, I was like, okay, this seems nice. Then when I had my first session with Coach Claire, she was super clear uh, saying that I don't want to tell you that you have to lose weight. I want you to get stronger so that you're more confident. And super aligned kami. And that's also what my friends told me that the genetics is different because they focus on strength, etc. Like, and I can see that also with here and the community here is super nice, the coaches are super nice. So it's very encouraging to just go here because I love the interactions and the in engagement that I get with the community. So I, I, that's super shallow but as an extrovert, I really value my social interactions. So um, when I go here, it's really, I don't know, it's like aura yung gym. And the strength and movement, the tagline, to me, it really it really works and it speaks to me because I definitely feel stronger. As I said, back in 2021, I did lose weight. I was right. I started with kinetics. I was 221 pounds. Now I'm 200 pounds. Now that was in April when I first weighed, and then in 20, 2021, actually, I was 180. So I was lighter. But when I compare my photos, I weigh heavier now, but I look the same when I weighed lighter. And I, I don't think I felt this strong mm -hmm. comparing it to before because I just did jump rope back and poor cardio. Anyway, but um, there really is so much value that genetics has given me ever since I started here. As a freelancer <laughs> uh, and a work from home girly, the initial thought for me talaga was to create a routine around working out so that I kind of don't get cabin fever because I just work at home. Um, but that was the first trigger. But I realized that strength has really allowed me to become, number one, more productive. And then second is to really be more confident and secure with how, number one, my body is our physicality is, but also just the mental strength. I don't know if there's, there's chemicals going on when you work out, uh, the endorphins maybe, but every time that I am reminded that I intentionally work out and become stronger. But um, suddenly like the mood shifts and then I get more I don't know, just I carry myself better. Every time uh, I have tasks tasks at hand that are very daunting and very scary and new things in my life coming in. Um, I think the clarity that working out and strength has given me really topples over into other aspects in my life like career, decision making, um, socializing and just my overall mental health it also has strengthened. Yeah. <laughs>